Hello everyone. A very warm welcome to all of you to my channel Simplifying Business Studies. Myself Kashish Talwani, your business studies teacher. I am here again with part 6 of chapter 5 of class 12th organizing if you are looking for the previous uh, videos and their links you can uh, get them into the description box below before i go forward i would like to request you all to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet and please do not forget to share it with all your friends let's go ahead and see what we have for you so this the content of this chapter so far we have covered many topics but in today's session we will complete we will try to understand what is delegation and elements of delegation so let's quickly start with our session so let's first understand what is delegation don't read on your screen just listen to me first in every organization managers are assigned lot of work and this single manager he cannot perform each and every work by himself so what he does is he divide this work and give it to different individuals according to what he feels uh, like uh, as per their qualification their experience he allots he give these duties to people who are working under him so manager begins with sharing these responsibilities with his subordinates he deliberately passes on some responsibilities to certain subordinates while giving these responsibilities he also has to give them some authority because without subsequent authority they may not be able to comply with the responsibilities given to them right if i will give you some kind of responsibility let's suppose i give you a responsibility to decorate your class i will have to give you some kind of time some kind of funds so that you can do you can comply with this responsibility so yes once a manager gives some responsibility he has to give some kind of authority which is uh, you know in balance to whatever amount of work is given to them so uh, to make sure uh, that all the subordinates work effectively and efficiently and of course in the expected manner the manager creates accountability and this whole process is called delegation now you understand what is delegation so delegation is the process of entrusting the responsibility and authority to the subordinates and creating accountability on those employees who are entrusted that responsibility and authority for example let me just continue with the example which i just mentioned i gave you a responsibility to decorate your class and for that i gave you rupees 500 also so i am giving you a responsibility what is that responsibility decoration of the class i am giving you the authority to use that 500 rupees efficiently this is your authority but along with that you will be accountable to me at the end of the day if you will not be able to complete the work and you will come ahead and tell me that we have spent rupees 500 on let's suppose uh Uh, transportation we went and we found out that all the shops are closed and we then came back so you utilize the whole fund you misuse the authority and you didn't comply with the responsibility so here comes accountability so in this case you will be accountable for me you will be answerable to me for not completing your work properly so this is what the whole thing is called delegation of authority now let's see what you have on your screen it means granting to granting of authority to subordinates to operate within the prescribed limits yes we are giving you authority as a superior uh, a superior gives authority to the subordinate 
to perform to do some kind of task to do to you know fulfill some kind of responsibility but yes there are certain prescribed limits the manager who delegates authority holds his subordinates responsible for proper performance of the assigned task so subordinate is responsible for doing that task properly otherwise he can face he may face certain consequences to make sure that the subordinates perform all the work effectively and efficiently in the expected manner the manager creates accountability that means at the end all these people have to come to the manager to give a specific reason that why or why not they were able to complete the job so this is what accountability is now let's understand these elements which we have just spoken about authority responsibility and accountability in detail so what is authority authority uh, means power to take decisions to carry on a responsibility every employee need to have some authority so when managers are passing some kind of responsibility to the subordinate they also have to pass on equal amount of authority to uh, fulfill those responsibility so delegating authority is the second step of organizing process while sharing the authority managers keep in mind that the authority should be matching the responsibility uh, and it should be delegated they shall pass the authority to their subordinates at the right time and of course in the right quantity so let's see what you have on your screen the power of taking decision in order to guide the activities of other authority is that power which influences the conduct of other absolutely now let's understand what is responsibility so responsibility is the work which is assigned to an individual it includes all the physical and mental activities which are to be performed by an employee which is included in his job profile so uh, and definitely that is as per his own job position the process of delegation begins when the manager passes on some kind of responsibility to the subordinate which means responsibility is delegated so first responsibility is delegated then as per the responsibility authority is also delegated now what is accountability okay let's first read what is written in this point responsibility it is the obligation of the subordinate to perform properly the assigned duties when a superior issues order it becomes responsibility of the subordinate to carry it out so this is what responsibility means it's an obligation it's a compulsion for a subordinate to perform this job which is given to him by his superior now let's understand what is accountability to make sure that all the employees and subordinates perform their responsibilities in the expected manner accountability is created accountability is also synonymous to answerability so if i will give you some work and i don't ask you any time whether you have done that work or not uh, will you be doing the work with same dedication every time of course not this is not a human nature so we only tend to work well when we feel that we are answerable or we are accountable to certain people who can definitely let our position be harmed if we will not you know perform our work properly so this is what accountability is so accountability means subordinates will be answerable if they will not complete the task properly uh creating accountability is the final step of delegation process accountability cannot be passed or delegated it can only be shared with the subordinates which means even after delegating responsibilities and authority the manager will be accountable for non completion of the task 
let's understand this through an example if the production manager is given a target of producing 20 machines in one month's time and he divided this target between his four uh, supervisors working under him uh, that means five machine to be produced by each supervisor each foreman but one foreman could not achieve the target at the end of the month uh, and only in all 17 machines are manufactured then production manager will be held accountable for non-completion of target as accountability cannot be transferred or shared it's an absolute term so if i give you some kind of work on behalf of the management and if you will not be able to perform that work on time or in a proper way you will be accountable to me but i will be accountable for uh, not getting this work completed by all of you to the management so this is something delegation is something which uh, uh, which cannot be passed on cannot it can only be shared with the subordinates which means even after the delegation of a responsibility and authority managers will be accountable for non-completion of work okay so these are different elements of delegation now what is this topic principle of absoluteness of accountability so uh, as we have already uh, understood about what delegation is so let's first read what is there on your screen authority can be delegated but responsibility or accountability cannot be delegated by manager so manager can only give people authority to do their work properly but accountability lies with him only the authority granted to the subordinate can be taken back and re-delegated to another people yes if someone is not doing work properly the work can be taken back from him and it can be again uh, reassigned to some other person manager cannot escape from the responsibility for any default or mistake on the part of his subordinates like for example if i am a superior and you all are my subordinates if you will not complete any work which I gave you then only I will be held responsible for incompletion of that work let's see this example if the chief executive ask a marketing manager to achieve so this is some responsibility which is given by the chief executive officer CEO of the company to the marketing manager to achieve a sales target of 100 units per day so this marketing manager delegates this task to deputy sales manager who fails to achieve the target then who will be answerable to ceo in this case the marketing manager will be responsible will be accountable for non-completion of work so we can say that accountability is always uh, accountability always remains with the person who delegates authority understand so let's see this uh, these diagrams on your screen assignment of duty this is the first step granting of authority this is the second step and creation of accountability we have all understood this this is the process of delegation of authority now uh, let's see it the other way manager to his subordinate can assign or can give a responsibility manager to his subordinate can grant an authority but manager to his subordinate like he accountability cannot be created uh, this way accountability always lies uh, with manager for any kind of non-completion or uh, not sufficient completion of any kind of work let's now understand the difference between these three elements of delegation authority responsibility and accountability we will understand this differentiation on these following basis authority let's first understand meaning so authority is basically the power or the right to command or power to take decisions so 
Uh, responsibility is the obligation to perform a certain task and accountability uh, means answerability for the output of the assigned task. Origin, that means where does it start from? So authority starts from a formal position. Responsibility arises from the delegated authority. That means once uh, some kind of task is given to a person, responsibility starts. Accountability, it arises from the responsibility. Once responsibility is given to a person, accountability also accountability is also created at the same time flow that means from where does it flow uh, into a hierarchy so it flows downward that means from superior to subordinate an authority is given to a subordinate from a superior so it flows downward responsibility it flows from a subordinate to superior that means uh, a superior a subordinate will always be responsible to his superior. So it flows upward. Similarly, accountability also, it flows from a subordinate to superior. That means upward. Again, the same thing. A subordinate will always be answerable to his superior. Withdrawal. Uh, can be withdrawn any time by giving notice. One superior can any time withdraw uh, the authority he has given to his subordinates. Responsibility, it cannot be withdrawn once it is created. Once you have given a responsibility, it has to be completed first. Uh, then only, um, it cannot be like removed in mid of it. Similarly, accountability, once it is created, it cannot be withdrawn in mid of it. So these are the points of difference among uh, authority, responsibility and accountability. So children, we have reached the end of this session. Uh, I hope my content is useful to all of you. If you have any comments, you can write it in the chat box below or you can reach me through this email ID. Hope you have a good day, a good time watching my video. Thank you so much. Have a very good day ahead.